Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to finish off your crochet project that you work in around with the invisible join. It looks so much better and I will show you what I mean in just a moment. Like I said, you can use it if you crochet a hat, if you crochet a bag or a border, everything that's in the round or like even now, like here with this tiny granny. So normally we would insert our hook into the very first stitch, grab the yarn, work a slip stitch and then we would chain one cut the yarn and pull all the way through just like this and like you can see we always have this little bump here and even if i'm going to uh, sew the yarn end in you can always see where we finished off so what i'm going to do is just open this back up So what you have to do is just finish your last stitch just as normal and instead of inserting and working a slip stitch, we will grab our hook, pull the hook all the way through just like this. Now you can see this tiny V right here and this is the yarn that we are working with. Now we will need our darning needle the yarn through and we will insert again just like we did with our crochet hook into the very first stitch so you can see this tiny V right here go with your darning needle through both loops pull through all the way and now if you look closer you can see this is the yarn we are working with so if you pull a little bit you can see this is the yarn we are working with and now we need to insert our darning needle through the back loop of that stitch so into the back loop grab the yarn and now pull through and we are done now you can see you can't see where we started or where we finished off now all you have to do is just sew in the yarn end so go through some stitches now i will go into the opposite direction and one more time right here pull tight and now we can cut the yarn and this is what it looks like I will show you one more time on this little piece right here here we worked in double crochets it doesn't matter if it's double crochets single crochets or half double crochets like I said, here's our last stitch. Normally we would insert again into the very first double crochet, grab the yarn, work a slip stitch, chain one and pull tight. Well, we are going to do exactly like I showed you on this tiny granny. So just work your last double crochet just like this. Now grab the hook, pull the yarn all the way through. Just like this. You can see this is the yarn. It's coming out of this tiny V. Now grab your darning needle. Pull the yarn all the way through shorter and we will do exactly the same thing so with your darning needle you will go through the two loops from our stitch pull through and now you can see this is our working yarn right here 
if you're not sure just pull a little bit and now we will insert into the back loop only just like this and pull as tight as you need it that it looks exactly like the others and this is what it looks like I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so, so much for watching. Have a great time crocheting and I hope to see you back soon. Bye.